Hey, it's Graydon here with Forever Booked, and in this video, I'm going to reveal the world's most potent strategy to get med spa leads to show up to their initial appointment. And what I won't be telling you is to not book people too far out, collect a deposit with the no-show fees and text and email reminders, call people the day before. You've heard it all before, right? These are all strategies you've heard before, and the fact is, they're all lame band-aid solutions, and they don't solve the, the, the core problem of why people no-show. And in this video, I'm gonna to attempt to isolate those core problems and give you a real solution that's really gonna improve your show rate. Now, there's two underlying problems that I've identified after five years of running ads for med spas and getting people to show up to their clinics. The first one is fear eclipsing desire, and the second one is no skin in the game. Now, let's dive into fear eclipsing desire. So, whenever uh, a potential client wants to come to your business. She says, yes, I want to look better, right? That's really the 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 core desire is like women, they want to look better. Like men, they want to look better too. Uh, often, but it's mostly women, right? They want to look better. They want to look younger. They want to look as young as they feel. But what if I get pressured into buying something I don't want? What if the clinic is sketchy? What if I end up looking fake? Will it hurt? I heard lasers can burn you. There's all these fears, right? And these are just like, this is a small list of the potential fears that someone could have of coming into your clinic. And when the fear is more than the desire, that is going to prevent them from showing up. And to really make this clear for you, I want to walk through this story that I heard from a friend who's a copywriter. It's on his email list, actually. And he was talking about the same subject, getting people to show up. And he was talking about it was his birthday and he was going axe throwing with a bunch of his friends. And on that day, there was this huge hailstorm and like, the hail, the, the size of the hail were quite large and it was actually quite dangerous. So like, that's the fear, right? The fear of, of, of driving through this hail storm to go to their axe throwing party. But the fact is that he wanted to go axe throwing so bad he'd never been before. They were super excited. So the desire to go axe throwing was so strong. It was so strong to go axe throwing because it's so fun. He's never done it before and it's like a super fun thing. I've been axe throwing before, it's great. And so since that desire was so high, they drove through that hailstorm. They made it to their appointment on time. They didn't no show. Now, what if he was going to, you know, uh, like some appointment where there wasn't any fun thing happening during the appointment? Maybe it was a consultation. Maybe it was some like uh, like a dentist appointment that he didn't really want to go to. He might have no showed, right? Well, him, he probably wouldn't no show to snowing the guy. He would probably cancel, but lots of people would no show to that. So, so that's a story of how those two primary driving emotions work, and how the one that eclipses the other will determine what actually happens. Second one is no skin in the game, AKA it's not a big deal if I don't show up. Now think of the situation where you're you're going to your best friend's wedding. Even if you didn't really want to go to that wedding, you have a lot of skin in the game because if you don't show up to that wedding, your friend's gonna be pissed at you. So you're gonna show up. With your clinic, if you have a situation where like you're a new clinic in a new city, you have no reputation and you just book someone in, they don't have that much skin in the game, right? If, if they don't show up, it's not a big deal. Because people are, like, people are moral and they don't want to feel bad about themselves. For example, if they're in a small town and they know the owner of the clinic and if they no-show, it's going to damage the relationship, that person's going to show up. But if you don't know people and they don't feel like it's a big deal if they don't show up, they're not going to feel bad if they don't show up. They're going to dramatically increase the no-show rate. So now on to how to actually increase your show rates given the two underlying causes of no-shows. Increase desire, decrease fear, and collect prepayment, aka skin of the game. That's it. That's all you need to do to increase your show rates. Of course, there's these other uh, supporting factors, which we'll talk about, but those are the main things you need to do to increase your show rates and really solve those underlying problems. So let's talk about increasing desire and decreasing fear. The easiest way to do this is to create a unicorn offer. Now, what is a unicorn offer and how do you create one? Basically, a unicorn offer, it's just making an experience that's super exciting to increase the desire. That's all it is. And the way we do that is you want to offer a discount on an intro treatment that a lot of people want. You want to add bonuses to turn the treatment into an experience. You stack the bonuses to increase the total value of that experience. So you ideally want to have a, a, a $300 plus value experience for 97. You give the offer a unique name and then you combine it with a consultation. So the reason we actually call it a unicorn offer is not only does it make it exciting, it makes it very unique. It makes your clinic stand out like a unicorn. And so instead of someone just booking a consultation for your clinic, they're booking this introductory experience that includes a treatment, it includes an assessment, maybe you have all these other bonuses, you give it a really cool name like the 
the intro, show up and glow up experience, something along those lines, and you're just gonna make it exciting. So you're stacking all these things to make the appointment exciting, but then it's also including a consultation. And you can call it something else. You can call it um, a 3D skin assessment. You can do a skin analysis to get away from the consultation verbiage, which people tend to uh, get kind of scared of. And what you're doing is you're increasing the excitement of this appointment. So it's not just this consultation. You're making it cl as close to this axe throwing scenario as possible. You're making someone actually want to show up to the appointment. And you have the consult. So you can also assess the person and give them what they need and recommend a full package. Now, if you want uh, a resource on how to create unicorn offers, there's a link in the below this video. It goes to this landing page and you can download our offer codex PDF and an offer calculator. And it shows you how to create these offers for your clinic, exactly what bonus is to include, and then even a cool spreadsheet that allows you to calculate the, the prices and everything. So if you want that, just go to there and you can download that resource. All right, moving on. So Dean Jackson, who's um, an email marketing legend, an internet marketing legend, says that a compelling offer is 10 times more powerful than a convincing argument. So let's go back to the whole notion of increasing desire and decreasing fear. If you have an ad that just says, hey, we're not gonna sell you something you, you don't need. We're not gonna make you look fake. Um, we're a super welcoming clinic. Although that's a, that's an argument. You're making an argument for why someone should come visit you and be excited. That's not nearly as effective as presenting them with this unicorn offer, which makes it exciting for someone to come into your clinic. So you should always be thinking about creating offers to convince people, not actually creating arguments. And that's why we focus on this unicorn offer. Instead of just saying, hey, you should be excited to show up to our clinic, we're putting our money where our mouth is with this offer that we're presenting. So now that we've covered increasing excitement, decreasing fear, the next thing is to collect prepayment, getting that skin in the game. And we're specifically talking about monetary skin in the game because it's the easiest way to get that. There's other ways to you know, get people committed, which we'll talk about in a second, but the, the most powerful strategy to get skin in the game is just to get them to prepay. And here's how you do it. You book a phone call first, so with new clients, you always book a phone call first and then you're gonna just collect the payment over the phone. And the fact is, it's super easy if you have a unicorn offer. See, if you just book a consultation and then try to collect a $50 deposit for that consult, it can be very difficult because people do not value that consultation, even though it is very valuable. In a lot of situations, they won't know what they're paying for. They're like, well, most clinics have a free consultation. Why do I need to pay this $50? In their mind, they're paying this arbitrary fee that they don't really know they're getting anything from. But if you create this unicorn offer and say, hey, look, this first appointment, it's a $500 value appointment. You're gonna come in, you're gonna sit on our massage chairs. You're going to you know, get this exciting introductory treatment. We're gonna tell you all about your skin and educate you and break down the value of that appointment and show it to them and then say, you're gonna get this all for 97. But the only catch is that we have so many people signing up for this offer, our clinic's so busy, that we're, we're laying down this time and we just needed to prepay for that appointment. So we're gonna give you this great discount. We just needed to prepay the $97 over the phone. And when you structure it that way, it makes so much more sense. Because like, okay, I'm actually getting something of value during this first appointment. I'm gonna come try out their treatments. I'm gonna learn about my skin. They're gonna give me a roadmap, but it's 97. And when you frame it that way, you'll have a much easier time collecting that prepayment. All right, so on the bottom here, you see desire and fear and then collecting prepayment. So this forms the base of getting people to show up. There are other factors which I'm gonna address here, but I really wanted to start with the core root issue so you understand that that's the most important thing. So once you have the unicorn offer in place and a way to collect prepayment, once you have that core foundation, you next wanna pay attention to your clinic reputation, logistics, the experience of the prospect over the phone, scheduling distance, so how far you're scheduling people out, and then reminders as well. So these all these things affect the show rates, but the core uh, motivating factors are these, and then these things all support it. So here are some cool tactics and hacks. I'm, I'm including this at the end because these aren't the most important things. It's like the top of the pyramid. The base of the pyramid is the fear, desire, and the skin of the game. Once you have that taken care of, you next wanna focus on these tactics. So on the phone call, you wanna be excited about that first appointment because if you're not excited about it, you don't make the appointment a big deal the person's not gonna feel like it's a big deal. And this actually goes back to skin in the game. If you're saying, yeah, it's a it's a, it's a a quick appointment, you're gonna come in, and like you don't make it sound like your clinic is really investing in them, they're not gonna feel bad showing up because they're like, oh, they, they didn't really see it as a big deal. 
But if you really hype up the, the importance of that appointment, they're going to feel like, oh, damn, like if I don't show up, they're investing all this time, like they're going to be waiting for me. And if I don't show up, they're going to be super sad and people will feel bad about that. So make sure you're excited about that appointment over the phone. Next, you want to have prospects verbally commit to the date, time and location on the phone. This is just going to really solidify it in their mind and get them verbally committed when they're speaking with you. You want to send confirmation texts, but not just regular texts. You want to have the address, pictures of the building, very specific directions, including landmarks. You want to have nearby buildings so people can really recognize the place when they get there. You want to send an invite so they can add the appointment to their Google Calendar. That's really important. You want to send follow-up texts. And a really cool strategy for this is, you know, when we were chatting about the unicorn offer and offering those bonuses, there is a really cool strategy where you can have a choice of two bonuses. I actually got this from a marketing agency that was running ads for boxing studios. And when people came, they had an, uh, they had an option of the black boxing gloves or the red boxing gloves. And as a follow-up text, they said, hey, do you want the red ones or the black ones? So instead of saying, hey, are you still coming? That's like a yes or no answer, right? But if you say, would you like bonus A or bonus B? It's getting them excited about it. It's showing them that you're already thinking about their experience and it's customizing it for them. And it goes from a yes or no to a which, which bonus do you want? So you're assuming that they're coming and that's gonna increase show rates as well. So it's a really cool, really cool hack. You wanna have a welcome video and a text before their appointment. So you should create a welcome video of your clinic and get them to see the place. It's just gonna create more trust and again, add to the importance of that appointment that you really care about them showing up. And then you wanna make sure you have some really solid Google reviews. If someone books an appointment and then goes to check out your reviews and you have like two reviews or you have a lot of negative reviews, it's just gonna plant that seed of doubt in their mind and the chance of them no showing is going to go up. You really can't ignore this. There's so many softwares out there. All you need to do is send people a text after they had a great experience to get them to write a review. It will really go a long way and if you wanna really do this well, you can actually create a landing page that just has all the proof that you're a great clinic. You could have a video at the top, you could have all your Google reviews, you could have before and after photos, and just send people that page before they come in so they can just see the overwhelming proof that you're a great clinic and they made the right decision by booking an appointment from, for you. And then lastly, if you have a Facebook group, you know, lots of local businesses now that have Facebook groups where they share a lot of really cool information about their area of expertise, add them to that group. Uh, so they can see that you can real business there's other people coming in as well so these are just some more tactics and hacks again can't stress this is not these are optimization strategies you want to have the, the the base of the pyramid first so if this was valuable to you here's what you can do next again i mentioned this before but if you click the link on this uh, youtube video you'll be able to go to this landing page where you can download this offer codex pdf and offer calculator which will show you how to create that unicorn offer, which is the most important thing. Well, that, the the phone, the collecting, uh, the prepayment is super important as well, but you need to have the unicorn offer in order to easily collect that prepayment. So let's go to that page and your information. You'll be entered in my email list. You can just unsubscribe immediately, but I would recommend you stay on there because I send some really good content out about twice a week uh, with all things marketing for Metsboss. So hope this was valuable and thanks for watching.